An indigenous family from the West Bank First Nation is working hard to recover and share the language and practices of their people. Wilfred and Pamela Barnes and their children have developed a program over the past several years that has allowed the public to experience their culture firsthand. We've been running the Silks Language and Traditional Practices program for, since September of 2008. And this program is, um, follows the seasons um, in the traditional Silks way. Um, and so in the early part of the spring until late in the fall, we would be out on the land gathering roots and berries and different plants and all of the materials and resources that we would need um, to get through the winter. The winter months would be spent um, making things, um, making baskets and arrows and arrowheads and nets and rope and all of those things. Um, and it was also the time of storytelling. The program that the Barnes family has been leading is coming to a close, but this means they will now have more time to share its individual components through booking workshops and presentations at schools, businesses, and private functions. I haven't seen anything in this territory that comes close to the stuff that we provide for, for our people and for non-natives also so, so they can learn about our culture and they could learn about how we are. Our way of uh, life here is ongoing. It, it's not part of the past. It, it's, it's part of everyday living. If you are interested in experiencing local First Nations culture, the best way to get in contact with the Barnes is to reach out via email to pbarnes at shaw.ca. For Kelowna Now, this is Lauren Kjalmarsson.